Hey guys, Dr. Lobaz here. Wanted to give you one quick tip to help you stay safe during this flu season. The best thing you can possibly do is keep your immune system strong. You were built with an innate immune system, a system that your parents gave you, the God-given immune system, and we want to be able to boost that thing as high as possible all the time so that your body stays in a position that you're always going to be healthy. No matter what's going on around you, you won't get sick. Have you ever thought about, like if you're in a room full of people and somebody sneezes and someone next to you says, oh good, so and so sick, I'm gonna get sick too. Well, maybe if they have a weak immune system, but if your immune system is strong, you're not gonna have to worry about that. So while I think it's silly that people go out and they put all this like hand sanitizer on and you know what that does? It kills off all the bacteria in your hands. You don't have good bacteria. You don't have any bacteria. You want bacteria on your skin so that it can kill bad, bad, bad things that come along. So the fact that people are so brainwashed into thinking that sanitizer is what's going to save them is so ridiculous. Keep your hands washed. It's common sense. But we don't need to sanitize every single thing. We actually want to come in contact with this a little bit and allow our bodies to fight things off. Now, if you're severely immunocompromised, that's a different situation. We need to keep you probably safe from all these things. We want to keep your body, you know, kind of stay at home. Don't be around people that are possibly carriers. But for the general population, keep your hands washed. Be among people. There's no reason to go into like Zombie Fest 2020. This is not where we're at today, guys. It is an absolute, complete freak out in a medical-minded system that says, hey, you're going to get this if you're along it. No, there, you're not. Just like the flu or a cold or anything else, keep your immune system up. How do we do that? Well, I've went over that in several different videos. Um, some of them I, I have just sitting here close, so I'll go over them real quick with you. You want to be able to feed your body things that don't make you sick. Okay. If you're allergic to certain foods, you need to stay away from those things. It's very simple. And if you don't know if you're allergic to foods, give my office a call. We have test kits you can take home. You poke your own finger. It's like a little blood test. You can, we send it in and says, hey, stay away from these foods. You don't have to be a patient of mine even. Just come in, get the test done. Super easy. Um, medicinal mushrooms, sulfur-based foods, your vegetables. Get your vegetables in as long as you're not allergic to them. Um, yes, you can be allergic to vegetables. It can happen. Uh, elderberry, getting your exercise in reducing stress, colloid silver. There's all these other things, getting adjusted, getting vitamin D. It's harder right now outside, right? The sun's not out like piercing us and, and nice and hot. So it's hard to get your vitamin D, but you can still get it. You can take it. Guys, if you have questions about getting your immune system strong, give me a call. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.